In trying to determine the planetary cause for the pandemic, we need to look for sky transits that aren't necessarily related to specific countries. We know that the transit in Capricorn conjunction is going to be hard on the U.S. because it opposes a key planet, and we also know that Neptune is another USA complicated influence due to its Mars square in opposition to itself. And Eris joins in on the USA challenge by squaring Mercury in the 8th sign. But these alignments may not affect other countries in the same way. So the question is, what then has been in the sky that signals a problem for absolutely everyone? I think the culprit is Eris because the three Capricorn planets squared it all through 2020. Even before you look for answers about its nature, without considering any specific meanings, it is still a planetary body and squared to three others for an entire year, which is going to be a problem. Then, when you realize that Eris on the downside associates the discord and chaos, you start to see how this kind of square could throw the entire planet Earth into a tizzy. One planet squaring another is relatively common, but three together is quite rare. Now bring in the female warrior aspect of Eris, and you get a straight up clear conflict between genders for one, and also between different classes of people for another. Of the three traveling Capricorn planets, Jupiter and Saturn are of course super important, since they are involved in practically everything that happens in human society, but in this case, the pluto Eris conflict is most fascinating. Pluto goes to the extreme masculinity that makes for plutocratic autocracy. Eris to extreme femininity, but with an edge that says very assertively, I want none of that, thank you, and is willing to push back as hard as necessary. It also seems to be associated with people that have been left behind, ignored, discriminated against, denied a seat at the table, so to speak. So matters of sexuality, as in LGBTQ and questions of race, pop up as well. Iris and Pluto make their first square in early 2020, and they are just now making the second square. The final time they will be 90 degrees from each other will be 2021, from late summer to well into the fall. If we are talking about getting beyond the COVID pandemic in a way that feels truly tangible, I'm betting that is when it will be. I did say in the last video that Monday's eclipse, together with the Jupiter-Saturn Aquarius ingress, marks the beginning of the way back, and I still think that's true. Vaccines will slowly start to lower the numbers, and the percentage of people with common sense will increase once Biden is president. But COVID is a worldwide pretty nasty problem that all countries are dealing with, and since this pluto era square continues to be in play for close to another year, I'm betting that next Thanksgiving might be the earliest time people once again feel safe when together in indoor venues. That said, I'm also guessing the warm spring and summer months will also be reasonably okay, even if the situation isn't yet completely safe. For one thing, Eris and Pluto aren't squaring each other exactly during those periods, and for another, people spend less time indoors, which tends to be very helpful. In an upcoming Eris video, I will go a little more into the gender conflict between Eris and Pluto, and what I think it signifies in the upcoming years and beyond.